And there's even a sledgehammer to show how they got through. What were they doing? Mr. Of course Mr. Pineapple would use a green hat. Probably has an orange suit. Where am I now? I thought I had the stairs. I guess I don't have the stairs key. Not the way I thought I did. Someone's bed is here? They made the tokens pretty easy to get. I definitely wasted my time. Oswald? Applebot? We try getting to the roof. Where am I supposed to get this goddamn pipe? Ugh, trapped. Um. Oh, wow, that's actually where I'm There actually is a place to take the fuse. I didn't expect that to actually come up. I thought that was like a joke item. I need the fuse for that, I need purple card for that. How much is going on all of a sudden? There's a whole other floor. Oh god, let's, let's go back down. I thought I was just gonna be passing through, but this is like its whole own thing. Oh, there's the bridge. We are way the hell up here. And that's not a real door. Well, that's where the bed- yeah, that's where the rental in the bed was. I guess I'm higher up than I thought I would- I guess there's less to do than I thought. There's nothing in either side here. Things are getting weird. Feel super unwelcome here, because now we're doing now we're dealing with like people's living situation. There's a door and a bridge, but I can't override it without the fuse, apparently. How do I get back? Well there's, there's more up here. Ah, there's a fuse right here. Okay. You don't open? So don't have to go all the way back down to the- okay. Good to know. Don't have to go back for the fuse I already found. There's one right here. There we go. Door, door. Cool. But now the bridge needs to open. Wait, that's a school? There's a whole school in there? What the hell? I can't get in, can I? I wanna see what their weird version of a school is. Ah, there's a time limit. That screen's point of no return. I should probably go back then, because I think I haven't found the pipe that guy needed. And I, if I go this way, uh, that's gonna, probably gonna close behind me. Well, I mean, I could test it. Let's test it, just in case. So I can just go over there. 
and test it. Can I not do both at once? In any configuration? <laughs> Gonna go all the way back up, huh? I wonder if you could jam something in front of the door to make it stay open, or something. Like this cart? In another game, I'd be able to push that cart around, but not in this one. Ah. I can still do this. I don't need the door to be open. I can just drop down. Another case of the purple card I don't have. So I have a save from before I came in here, which is good because I don't know if I'll be able to leave. Oh, that button probably makes the bridge go down. Except then I can, can I even go through that door though? Okay, the door opens at the end. Okay, so the button... Okay, this is not a point of no return. Oh, that was an incorrect guess. Went on, went on a little meal break and came back and I was like... I could at least test it first, before I go backtracking. Because for all I know, the pipe is still past this, past here at some point. If only I had a container I could put all these bottles in. I don't have to sit there and take them with me and, uh... One by one, I mean. Turn up hill experiment, open sewer coins, our own economic system for utilizing and managing OS resources exchanged for labor. Uh, income sources, mostly mushroom and alcohol products, income from black market, royalties from the pineapple, welfare of OS citizens, confiscated and paid as OS coins instead, low purchasing power outside OS, only a few accept OS coins. This is some fucked up stuff. This is like the kind of things that people did during, uh, in, with forms of slavery or the types of, uh, what was it, uh, before unions and everything, like there was like situations where like people would go work at factories and the factory would actually confiscate all their wages and pay them in like fake currency that they could only use within the factory to get, uh, get their food and stuff that way. And so they were in this trapped system where like they were paying, they were working all the time and the factory would essentially provide them with housing and food and stuff like that, but they basically had no autonomous freedom of any kind because the factory controlled all their income and they didn't have they they weren't making real money for the real world really, and that's what's kind of happening here is like they're they're stealing people's uh, they're stealing everybody's uh, welfare and profiting off of it while giving them minor and uh, unequivalent rewards for the food and everything and they're trapping them in the system and then to the point where even like that that guy makes a successful book apparently they they even trap him and stop him from that we're like like oh yeah we'll give you more fake coins for our fake economy as a reward congratulations as opposed to like you know him getting to actually make a living off of his book that he wrote that apparently is doing well well enough to generate royalties of of note. So the so this building's all the assholes that actually run this place. Then, see, once again, supposedly we didn't care about the minor things, but now we're taking photos of broken windows. Remember, the, I remember the comments earlier in the series, like obviously the people that want you to take photos don't care about broken windows. That's not what you're here for. But now I'm taking photos of broken windows. And the game does want me to do that. Any more of this. It's weird. I wonder if there's going to be a payoff for the whole photo system, or if it's just going to be like something I was just kind of doing all game for the sake of it. I don't see a key stash anywhere. Oh, that's what I'm doing here. Okay. 
Don't fall to your death, please. There we go. It was a bad idea. Somebody seems to have broken in here. The glass is on the inside. So that means they came in through here and broke in through that direction. Probably from here. Because the glass is on the outside here, or it's not visible anywhere, but it's not on the inside. There's the purple... That's the purple card? Purple card is mine. 5th of August, 2016. I had a discussion about our current situation, and to be honest, I'm a little worried. Not everyone is happy with how we led this place, how we lead this place, and there are more crazy people than ever before. It's weird. People seem to go crazy here, even if they don't use those damn mushrooms. Everyone said that they, uh, put something in the water, and I'm starting to believe it. That's the word put. Okay. Sixth, we started to remove some old areas, and it's going well. We've also started to investigate that... Okay... Old villa nearby, and it's looking promising. We might be able to move there soon. No one uses it, so I'm sure it'll be fine. That weird cave mushroom farmer wasn't happy about us moving there, but I think his... I think he... He... Something wants to be left alone. Just wants to be left- no, not just. Only- I can't think- He lose wants to be- what the heck? I could- Out? I ca- I found- I found out that the villa used to be- To belong to Mikhail Rosenthal, the owner of Stahlberg Steel. This handwriting screws with me, man. I, like, this person's handwriting for several letters just uh, explicitly looks like a different letter. And so it's like a nightmare. Like, many of the ways they write letters look just like a completely different letter. And not like the letter they're actually trying to write. It's an- it's a- wow. The seventh. I'm gonna talk about the Turnip Hill experiment tomorrow. It's been going well. We can just- we can just pay everyone in open sewer coins and keep the real money for ourselves. That rider was a gold mine for us. I still can't believe this is actually working. 8th of August. They're evacuating the city because of the flood. I'm leaving as soon as I can. These are like, wow, everything's perfect and everything's going great. Literally the next day. Uh, city's gone. Goodbye. So much for that. Really fucked up that they're just profiting off that rider directly. It's like, ooh, wow, we can keep him trapped here, and that'll make this whole operation keep going. Good for us. Oh, right. That photograph in there, real quick. Oh, I can't open these? Huh. Well, I've got my. I've got my purple key. That doesn't work there. But hopefully somewhere else? Yeah, like, like here. An elevator. A slot machine? Uh... Twelve? How many prep buttons can you press? Just one? Twelve? Alright, thanks Satan, butt hell. Oh wait, that was- wait, that was a win? It says wins one. Oh, okay. 
I thought it went all the way to 12, like, wow, look at that. And then it, like, went started going all over the screen, like, to say, like, just kidding, you don't win. But I think that was supposed to be a celebration screen. Wow, my reward is my coin back. What? I won at 1 in 16 odds, and my reward was just to get my coin back? Fuck this place. This place is more corrupt than I thought. Goodbye, plastic bottle that can't break. The only type I can throw anymore, just in case. Although, I, at this rate, I don't think we're actually going to need more coins. Is that another one? Yep. I find so many of them everywhere that I think the whole currency is kind of irrelevant. Almost like the other currency it's replacing. Ha ha ha. Because it is basically replacing the currency of flashlight batteries, which do not exist anymore, but were equally a non-tension issue, generally. That's the guy that takes the takes the minutes. This is where they have their meetings. Did they do court here? Or meetings? Office. This is the balcony we saw. I think the keys are pretty much the one takeaway here. Oh wait, you're clearly broken. Another broken thing. Not you. Probably you? No, the- oh right, the office. Another coin. Oh my goodness. For a fake currency, that's the entire livelihood of people, and it's like the only thing that keeps them going because it replaces their real currency. Uh, people leave it lying around a lot. Obviously, here it's normal because these people don't actually need it. It's the people that run the place, but everywhere else it was pretty easy to find just sitting around, too. On, like, benches. Turnip Hill status report July 2016. The government sh will continue transferring the remaining homeless people to open sewer. There won't be enough space for everyone and this will cause further unrest in the area. People exhibiting strange or violent behavior will be transferred to open sewer even if they already have a home. This will just accelerate the population growth in open sewer and further action is needed. The good thing about this is that the number of homeless people in other regions of the city has been greatly reduced. Less people will have to live in the street. We also have new potential areas for people to live. Turnip Hill needs more room for new residents which is going to cause some problems. We have we have those new areas where we can move the new residents, but it isn't enough. We're hoping that the government would help us solve this problem, but it seems like they don't even want to acknowledge that we exist. Yeah, they probably shouldn't want to, honestly. Interesting. Why is there a teddy? It's always the teddy bears. Maybe the teddy bears are running this place. Oh no. The grand reveal. On, so like they're they're like like they're talking about yay we've reduced the homeless population and it's like that and by moving them here I'm like that's a noble goal at the very least but I don't think that's everyone's goal that one guy was talking about that dude's book being a gold mine you're not really reducing the homeless homeless population if somebody is if someone's being successful enough that they could apparently go out on their own by writing a successful book. And you're still like keeping them here and letting and not letting them escape, then th then this this place ceases to just be a way of getting homeless people off the street, and it becomes like a trap that people will never escape from. And that's its own whole other problem, really. All right, so now I know I'm not trapped. Let's just do a save. Yeah, let's try you. Right, close the door. Where do you take me? Past several doors, apparently, that look like they'd be able to be opened. Now where am I? Oh, we're almost all the way downstairs again. Or I am downstairs again? Pay three for a turnip. A lot- you. why is there poop in there, though? 
Interesting. This is a huge zone. This has to be the whole chapter, right? I feel like I should have gone around the roadblock and just want, went in a straight line down that road instead of going where I've been going. I should have probably never entered this place. Like, this has to be the whole chapter because it's so extensive. And in which case, the plant that we're trying to actually get to must be chapter 10, the ending. El Climaxo. Joke's on you guys, I can just steal radishes. Oh. I mean, turnips, I guess. Are radishes and turnips different? I'm realizing in this moment that I'm actually not sure if I know. This doesn't come up for me. Doesn't open. They are not plants I think about. Is this the original elevator? Like, this is where I came from, right? Yeah, that's the one I came out of. Now I've opened this door. Hey, we're back at the beginning again. So this is Beer Master. That's the convenience store area. This is the door I couldn't open before, now it's open. This is the secondary building, essentially. Okay. Back to exploring up here, then. This is a neat area to explore. And it's such a departure from the rest of the game and its general feeling of, like, exploring these, uh, industrial locations. And trying to get pipes to work and whatnot. Oh, you don't open? But there's a stair... Oh, wait, that, that's just to get out of there. So if I somehow end up in that backyard, which I don't know if you even can. Maybe from that balcony or something? Then I can climb over this to get out, at least. question is, what else have I accessed in the process? Where the hell is this pipe the guy wanted me to find? Things are still opening. R.I.P. Did he die? Yoshikawa. Uh... Those don't belong there. A screwdriver through the keyhole, a hammer through the doorbell, and a screwdriver through the eye hole, and they called it... And it's Jesus' place? Is that a... that work as a reference? What's going on there? Did they stigmata his door? Does that even work? Does that meaning even come through? Oh, I haven't been here yet. He had some drawing of a pipe. Which I have, like, at this point, not a lot to go on concerning that. Is that their garbage and that's their mailbox? Is that how that works? Wait. Are the homeless people living inside the garbage cans? Like how that one guy was living under the staircase? Creeves Funeral Home. I'm sorry, but we're closed. Come back tomorrow. Sorry, I just wanted to ask how to get out of here. Oh, you can go through here, but... But what? You have to help me first. You need to move some bio-waste into a dedicated bin near Rabali's grill. Oh, great. There is one bag inside that barrel on the right. Take it and do what I said. That's just great. Disgusting. That's a human head.
So I can escape through here if I take that head to the right place. But oh, that other guy wants a pipe? How do I get his pipe? Where's his pipe at? I want to give that dude a pipe. Oh? Oh no. I'm gonna go with that one, but I don't know. Shit, I had to remember which pipe it was. If only I could go through my own old photos. Wait, why is that a photo subject? Weird. If only you could go through your own old photos in this game. Then I'd know which which uh, one it was. I don't remember what the drawing looked like. That was like an hour ago. It took so long to find it. Is this the other end of that? This is the other end of the door I found before. Food waste only. Is that where I'm supposed to take it? I don't know. Like, obviously not, because it says food waste only. But is that where they want me to take it? Can it tell me again? No new update. Just gonna have to go by memory. And I don't know how to run this place, so I'm just gonna... Solve this problem with the same haphazard nature I've done all along. That is a human head. What the fuck? Get in there. There we go. If that's not it, then we'll find out later. <laughs> Can't go in security. Oh cool, there's people screaming. Rabali. Glorious food. That's a terrible logo. That's disgusting. It's always a packaged, unrefrigerated sausage pa pack. That's... Uh, why? Why, though? Why always that? Um... Is this the main floor of the elevator building? No. Right. Ah, for old time's sake. One more bottle. Thank you... ...very much... ...for that. So I need to go back to... Where's the main apartment building? Here? I can't open it. Is there any reason to look in there right now? No? Is that how you call the elevator? That is. I'm guessing you don't open. You do open now. So that, so that that is part of the whole I, you having the staircase key thing. I think this is the right one. Well, thank you, Mark. I'm going to send you that gift when I can. I'm sure you're going to like it. Oh. Okay, thanks. I need to get going. Later, Mark. Did I do it right? Yeah, it's shorter on one side, longer on the other side, but it's 90 degree angle. I did do it right. 4 plus 2? Does it is it a 4 by 2? Is that what it means? I thought it was a code 442 at first, but I think it might be 4 by 2. Should I be concerned about what my present is? Hello, weird duck. Are you important, wizard duck? Wow, you're bouncy, Mr. Wizard Duck.
Is there any kind of clue? I'm wondering if there's something I should do. Oh! Stairs key. Oh no, it was here too? I d oh, I missed it. I already have it now. Blue duck feels important because it's blue. Why is it weirdly different? Is it why is there a wizard duck? It looks so distressing. I'm wondering if there's some clue about, about what to do with it, because this seems to be an area where you just find obscure items and put them places, and that's like a core mechanic around here. I'm gonna put it with the important items bin. Next to the mushroom. There you go. I'll come back to you if I find something. Though I might already be able to leave now since I gave them the uh whatchamacallit. I think this would take me in the wrong direction. I should find another way out. That wasn't a good sound. What do you mean? How could that incredibly, totally legit passport I found that was like a shitty drawing, uh, possibly be fake? Ooh, more money. Dear lord. Where does this take me? Is it like a creepy train? I don't know how to get a- I don't know how to get a passport, but there's one guest named Passmore, is that- and he asks for a passport. He's- <laughs> I need a- I need a passport, and there's a guest named Passmore who, uh, asks for a password. That seems to be a clue, and there's this random bin that has the number three on it. What the hell is happening in this place? There are so many bizarre little elements around the environment that I'm like, is- which of these mean something? What is going on? 100 punks, a bunch of hearts, like a... Like it's a Zelda health bar. That dude's got a face. Only 554. Stahlberg Underground. We've heard about the Stahlberg Underground. Shouldn't I want to go there? Is this my chance? 1988. I wonder if that's like a code. Because there's a four-digit code somewhere, too. There's so much going on in this environment. Oh my god. 